I have one message for you, class of 2012. Stay in school. <laughs> I know you're here to graduate. I know you think your work is done. But hang on just a minute. It's tough out there. The world is a scary place. Stay in school. <laughs> now, it won't be easy. The best things seldom are. I know you've already rented the cap and gown, gotten an internship, broken up with your girlfriends and boyfriends, and started sleeping with new ones. Had your last drink at the goose. Deposited the early graduation gifts. But listen to me. Yes, stay in school. It doesn't matter how you do it. Go for a master's de degree. That always works. If that's, if that's not too much of a stretch, bribe a professor to lower your grade so you won't have enough credits to graduate. Or go on the American plan, borrow more money. Forget about what the Republicans want to do with your student loan interest rates. Now, I know not all of you will be able to do it. Some of you will have to go out into the world. Some of you will have to leave school. I know the pain of leaving school. For me, it happened in the middle of high school. In many ways, leaving school, when I did, was an advantage. I saved nearly $6,000 by not having to pay tuition and expenses for four years of education. I feel a little foolish because if I'd waited until now not to go to college, I could have saved around a quarter of a million <laughs> just by not going to base. <laughs> it's too late to save the tuition, but it's not too late to save yourselves. And with all due respect to Gwen Eiffel and Bonnie Bassler, I think this is the most important piece of advice you'll hear today. Become a movie star. <laughs> but I am deeply honored to be here this morning, complimented to be in a group of so many outstanding students, educators, and alumni. I'm appreciative of this great honor, and it is truly a great honor, though perhaps giving it to me cheapens it a little. Uh, I think of what my mother would have thought. <clears throat> my mother would be so proud to see her son, who never graduated high school, standing up here today, receiving this honorary doctor, uh, doctorate of fine arts. I imagine she would have been more proud if it were Harvard, but anyway. <laughs> but, but, had she learned, as I have, the history of Bates, she would have been moved by my association with this great institution. Bates has been a pioneer in equality and equal opportunity. That's quite a legacy. It's also a responsibility. You must follow in the footsteps of so many of your distinguished alumni and bring your Bates values out into the world. I know you'll do your alma mater proud. Bates College's concern for minorities is inspiring. And now Bates is at the forefront in serving the most abused minority of all. The 1% who can actually afford to send their kids here. <laughs> This isn't a day for advice, it's a day for pats on the back. Then what can I tell you? I can tell you what I tell my own children. Welcome new experiences and new ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't be afraid to try things. Don't be afraid to fail. I always say, I always say, if you don't go, you never know. Congratulations, class of 2012. And congratulations to myself. <laughs> Thank you.